What's up guys and welcome to So Many Me. This is a game that comes out on July 17th, 2014. It's a fun puzzle platformer. I do warn you though, if you are coming to this game expecting it to bring something incredibly new and fresh to the genre, you won't find that here. You'll find a cute game that doesn't take itself seriously, it's easy to pick up, and overall it's really, really fun. But just don't expect something incredibly new. So Many Me is a platformer about how you go into the slightly generic adventure of saving the world. Of course the game actually recognizes that that's generic, and I find that kind of stuff funny and, you know, recommendable, I guess. And basically, you run into yourself. You run into yourself throughout trying to adventure this world, and while you do argue and bicker with yourself, you also help yourself go throughout this world and through the levels. And you do that by turning yourself into a stone block, which can be used in a number of ways. It can be used to platform or create platforms, or as sort of a portal-style cube to get through stuff. And it's overall just really cool. So let me get up here. Oop, there we go. And it's, it's good for platformer fans. If you're already a fan of platforming games, you'll pick this one up, be able to enjoy it nice and simply. It has the cuteness to it. You know, it has the platforming ability to it, basically. You know, very enjoyable, very fun. Um, but besides that, if you're maybe unfamiliar with the puzzle platformer genre, I'm not sure if this is, like, the one to start with. You know, it's not like it's going to blow your mind in any way. But it's overall, like, it's fun for those who know what they're getting, getting themselves into. It. Hopefully those that are better than me at video games. Let me do this. Now, the uh, block me mechanic is actually pretty interesting, because if you do it fast enough, you can just hop around on the blocks forever. I know, let's hop down here. And, you know, the levels are fun because they're challenging. Not only can you just make your way through the level, there's a lot to collect, too. There's a, you know, just different stuff. I can actually collect different costumes. So if I can go in here, I can, like, change the, you know, the the look of this character. It's very hard to unlock these. I always have a hard time doing so. But it's fun because, you know, gives you some customizability. Makes your fleet of yourself look very, very funny. Very, very cute. And, uh, let's go through here. The thing is, is once you collect them, you can't recollect them. So it looks like, you know, this, this level's barren. But it's actually just I've played through this level previously. Okay, I would open this up and it would drop a collectible that was in that cube. That little confined space. It's very simple. It does get more difficult overall. I haven't had an issue completing the levels, but I have had an issue basically just, you know, collecting all of the collectibles. But when it comes to just basically and simply completing the levels, it hasn't been that hard at all. I've only played about a good hour and a half at the most, but it's been fun, and it's been pretty simple, like I said. Okay, this can be a little hard. There's no, like reprimands for dying or even failing you do get respawned usually fairly close to where you died so this is a really good one for children it's easy it's you know very very simple hearted simple minded so you know there's not too much to worry about there Let's kill the stinking dog so it's like here's the uh, issue we have to block this turret off so that this guy can walk on the button and we can get this prize up here because only that purple guy can walk through this. Oh no, and we were a tad too late. Oh well, let's just wait it out. And here we'll, we'll get a, another uh, costume. Oh, Dexter Jr. <laughs> and the game's just easy to laugh at, easy to have fun. At any point, it's super easy to pick up because the controls are super simple. Okay, let's uh, hop up here. What's this gonna do, huh? Okay. Probably wanna do a little of that. And then hop down here. Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay. And you can blow through these levels relatively quickly. So that, like, you know, you can get through a, a fair chunk of the game, you know, easily. So if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, it's still manageable. Alright, now we're going to make our way all the way back. There we go. It has the charm of something like Kirby or something similar. Which I like. Let's get all of our buddies back. Now, there's this golden area that's made by this plant over here. Basically, I can't, uh, use my powers there. I'll just sort of start coughing. And here, like, I can activate this, these gates to be undone, and they would normally be a collectible. So, obviously, you can make the game harder on yourself, but in return, you can get some nice collectibles. Appropriately enough, only your main character will be affected by anything. So if I'm running around like this and one of my two or three me's gets attacked, 
I don't have to deal with that like it won't kill me, which would be very annoying. So they obviously they thought ahead and de dealt with the annoying stuff. But this is basically all you need to know about so many me. It's very simple, a little easy, but you know, good for the kids. I like it. So, uh, more story pieces here. We'll actually go into this one, just because it shows a little bit more of the game. But basically, this is cuteness, the game. There's so much cute about this. I'm gonna skip this, so... It would be nice if there was a... Oh, there it is. I was just about to say it would be nice if there was a button to skip. Apparently, there is. I never saw that before. Okay, so we get to turn into this gigantic thing, which has much more power. It can destroy stuff, all that kind of stuff, yada yada. You know, it's a, just another power-up. They do have some good variety of stuff you can try. But it's still overall simple, easy to pick up and understand. So, this has been So Many Me, you can find it in the link in the description. If you this video, please consider giving it a like, commenting your thoughts, will you be picking up this one on July 17th? I don't know, you guys gotta tell me. And if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet subscribed, I suggest you do, because subscribing will get you alerts whenever I record and post a video. So whenever, you know, I post a new video, you'll be alerted. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.